Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. Hello everybody and welcome back. Let's talk about the new episode of The Valley, Season 1, Episode 3. Let's get right into it. We can go. Right now. Lie. You walked in my house. Shut the up. Shut the up. You shut the up. Down right now. Okay, so the episode actually starts with Jackson and Brittany. They are walking around with their kid and Brittany's mom out in a nice place. And um, they're talking about their respective friends' night. So J- Jax talks about his guy's night and how Luke got mad um, at Alex being there. But then Brittany tells us what happened at the girls' night. Was So this is what happened. Kristen said that Janet told Jasmine that Michelle was a Republican and a racist. Now, Jasmine got mad, Michelle was in shock, and Kristen doubled down and said that her friend Zach told her. So that was a lot of chaos happening in that house that Brittany's telling us uh, about. So the next scene is Michelle in her house with Jesse, her husband, and she says she's very upset. She doesn't think that Janet would say that she is a racist and a Republican. She even says that she's Mexican and Persian. Then Jesse says that maybe she should call her. So Michelle does that. She calls Janet. She says, you know, Kristen said that you are telling people that I'm a racist and a Republican. Janet says that she would never use those words in the same sentence ever. Michelle believes her, and they both think that there's something going on with Kristen. They're both mad at her. Matter of fact, Janet says that she has witnessed Kristen try to make her ex-boyfriend Alex be the villain and herself be the victim. So that's really interesting. Michelle definitely did look upset. She says that last night she was quiet because she was just in shock. Also, her and her husband keep saying bad words in front of their toddler, who is now repeating them. That's not cute. But then the next scene is Kristen and Luke. Remember, they're moving into a new apartment together, and it's pretty big. They're talking about last night and that, you know, Jax invited Alex to the guys' night. She says that she doesn't care if Jax is still friends with Alex. He just, She just doesn't want him to be um, a, hanging around them. Luke says, well, you know, at least Jax told them before Alex got there so you could, you know, process it a little bit better. Then Kristen gets into the Republican of it all. She says that before filming started, Janet and Zach did talk about everyone. You know, they were talking some mess. Who is racist? Who is Republican? Who is homophobic? And they said that Michelle was. Now, Kristen doesn't feel bad for exposing them, but she does feel bad that Michelle was like collateral damage. She even cries a little about that. We then see Danny and um, Nia. Now, I told y'all they love each other. Um, Nia is the former Miss USA, and she has a lot of like brand stuff that she does, you know, like brand partnerships. Um, so she's gonna go away for just one day, and Danny's gonna take care of the kids. Now, remember, they have twins that are seven weeks old and a toddler who's like three. So he's like super, he's like the super dad of the show, you know, love to see it. Then we see Jax. He walks into this new bar that he's opening up with three other men. He says that he hasn't invested anything in it. So that's interesting. But today they're going to be interviewing some people that do work, that are going to possibly work there. This girl came in with no bra. That was interesting. But they interviewed a few people and it looked like they found one. Then Brittany and Kristen go hang out to a little cute churro shop. So Brittany tells her that Janet is pissed at her. Because she said that Janet told her that Michelle was racist. Now, Kristen is saying that she doesn't think that about Michelle. She even says that her out of all people wouldn't want to be associated with that. But Kristen is saying that if she didn't, you know, she didn't make it up. She didn't say it on purpose. But she's just, she just wanted to out them. And then... Well, you know, obviously Kristen is now mad at Zach for not owning up to it that night. So she calls him, puts him on speaker. Kristen says that she's confused why the other night um, he did what he did by denying it. So Zach says that they did say she was a Republican but not racist. Kristen says, why would I use the R word? You threw me under the bus. And Zach says, you are the bus. Sack seemed upset at her for bringing it up as well. And then Brittany says that Kristen is just going to have to acknowledge that she's the one that put it out there. 
Moving forward, Jesse and Michelle have a life coach meeting with them, essentially there, you know, to help them with their marriage. And this was actually pretty heavy. So Jesse says that there's constant conflict all the time between them. The life coach asks if there's anything that's not being met. Michelle says, yes, a lot of needs are not being met. Um, you know, she feels lonely. He doesn't understand how she feels. He's very hard on her. She's never enough. He is OCD about the house. He doesn't make her feel loved or protected. He treats her as a sister, not... A wife at all and Jesse says that there's a major disconnect he says that she never compliments him she says I could see the same thing about you he barely looks at her the life coach asks when was the last time they felt sexually attracted to one another and Jesse says three years and nine months ago wow and it's interesting because he says that you know at the beginning of the relationship they kind of began just you know having sex all the time and I think it kind of it goes to show that there's so much more that's actually important in a relationship. You really do need that foundation um, in order for it to survive. Because it was hard to watch this scene. It looks like they have nothing in common. The next scene then is Janet and Jason. They are cleaning a room that they're going to be making into the nursery. They even ordered DoorDash McDonald's. So Janet says that earlier today, Kristen posted a cryptic message on her Instagram story. So Janet says that Kristen just created a whole hot mess involving her, Michelle, Zach, and Jasmine. But here's the interesting part. So Janet starts to bring up that there was a conversation that was definitely had before filming about the no gay bill. Michelle supported it and so that caused the others to have conversations of them trying to change her mind or whatnot but here's the thing what this told me by her trying to like you know defend what they actually said uh, there's definitely some truth to what Kristen was saying and I'm gonna have to say that I believe her I believe not that Janet said it, but I definitely believe that Zach told Kristen that because Zach looks like a messy person. All right, so there's going to be a dinner party thing thrown by Jesse and Michelle. Now, they're in their room talking about it, and there's already arguments. He keeps saying that this is important to him. She says, well, it's important to me too. So this dinner is going to be at a $18 million listing. She keeps calling it a party. He says, don't call it a party. It's a sophisticated meeting. And she says, stop saying sophisticated. You can have a sophisticated party without saying sophisticated. Oh my gosh. So, so messy. But the theme is Capri because they love going to Italy every day. But again, so messy that they fight all the time. Okay, so this was interesting. Um, people are making their way to the party. Jasmine has a girlfriend. I didn't. We did not know that. So she says that she dates both genders. But everyone begins to arrive. Beautiful location, and everyone looked great for the most part. Cause Zach looked like hor he looked horrible. He looked like he was about to go shop at Walmart. Now, Kristen was the last one to get there, and because this is Jesse and Michelle's event, it was very awkward at first. She says hi to her and says that if you know they could talk later. But for now, they serve themselves, they sit to eat dinner, everything is okay, eating, laughing, talking. But Janet is very bothered. So Janet goes ahead and discusses this in front of everyone. Janet says that she is disgusted that Kristen said that she said those things about Michelle. Kristen says it all came from Zach. She says that this was a game of telephone that began with Jasmine to Janet to Zach to her. Kristen says that Zach told her and insinuated that Michelle was racist slash homophobic. Now, this is um, uncomfortable for everyone, especially Jasmine, because you got to remember, she is black and she's dating a girl. So that affects, you know, both things if, if what they're saying about Michelle is true. So Kristen then says... You know, regardless of who said what, I do want to apologize to Michelle for putting it out there. Then Jesse says, now mind you, he had a horrible tone of voice. He sounded very angry and he says, why don't you just say you lied? Don't say anything except that you lied. So Luke says, whoa, like, wait a minute, calm down. So Jesse starts to tell him to shut the F up and F you and shut the... It was crazy. He was being really aggressive and really mean. Now, mind you again, Luke already doesn't like Jesse because Luke, um, Jesse grabbed Kristen's breast. But anyway, Michelle says that she 
is uh, that Kristen is not telling the truth. The only one that was defending Kristen was Nia, because she even says to Michelle, how do you know that she's not telling the truth? But Janet is saying that she is done with crazy Kristen. Kristen says that she is an easy target. So they're all kind of talking, going back and forth, and then Jesse pounds on the table and says, everyone shut the F up, Michelle's gonna talk. Now, Michelle seems to believe Zach and Janet 100%. Then Jesse goes off about his business and saying, you, Kristen, are trying to insinuate all this, but you got kicked off your show for being an actual racist. Ooh, ooh. He kind of gagged her there. Kristen, asked, she's like, what did you just say? Yeah, she was really like, Taken aback. So Kristen then starts talking in her confession about the darkest time of her life, which which was when she was called racist. Uh she I think she was trying to like clean herself up. Um does anyone know what happened? I do not know because I did not watch Vanderpump Rules up and I started last year after all that scandal, and then like eventually I started to like figure out who was who. But I don't really know what happened. Does anyone know? Let me know what happened. But yeah, she was fired and stuff. So um, that's crazy. So, you know, Jesse, I don't like him. But I guess, you know, he was telling the truth at, at that point. But at the end of the day, they're all problematic. And I do believe they're Republicans. Um, but listen, this was crazy. It was the end of the episode. Wow, so explosive. Um, I see that the ratings are doing phenomenal. They're getting higher ratings than Potomac, Miami, like, Real housewise, and that's that's impressive. But y'all, let me know your thoughts. What do you believe? What do you think? This is a crazy show, um, and it's it's really good. So y'all, let me know. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a great one. Bye.